Hello, welcome to Social Distancing with Kendra. We have uh, my chaotic library, which desperately needs to be cleaned, but I want to show some books to you before I put all those books away. We have Dylan in the corner, who is slowly but surely destroying, dest destroying, destroying his uh, lobster. We have me in pajamas and no makeup. And uh, another fun fact of the day is I can't make this happen it will not close and so I can't twist my attachment for my tripod to go horizontal. I tried probably too much because my hands are still throbbing a little bit so this is where we're at at this point and since I obviously do not have the emotional or mental capacity to review books today I'm going to be talking to you about books that I've recently purchased. A lot of them I purchased on sale supporting someone during this time or um, I bought them a while ago because uh, I haven't filmed a haul since January. Yes. So yes, if you would like updates, a more coherent like together updates, check out Reading Woman. That is my job. So all of my effort and spoons that I have left uh, after dealing with daily crisis stuff, uh, it goes there. So we are doing marriage stories in April and I have updates about like what Reading Women is doing uh, during the pandemic to support authors and indie bookstores, etc. cetera. Um, a wide range of different things are on my Instagram at Katie Winchester. Reading Women is at The Reading Women. All of that is down below always. So go check that out if you want more coherent updates uh, because I'm gonna be posting here sporadically as I am able to. Probably more no makeup videos. All right, so let's start with the books that I have bought most recently because they're on the top of the stack. First, we have The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I bought this from Old Town Books. Uh, they are really getting hit pretty hard, so you should go check out their classes that they have right now with authors um, and different things. I'll link that down below. Uh, but I bought this from them. I listened to the audio and loved it, and so I knew I needed a copy. Uh, definitely go check out either print or audio, whatever you prefer. Uh, it's amazing. So uh, it's about how the city of New York uh, kind of comes alive. So the city of New York has six uh, avatars, uh, one for each borough and then one for the overarching New York and cities become alive. So like cities are characters in the book and it's amazing. I loved it. I read it in like 24 hours on audio. So it's so good. A book I bought from Thrift Books is this one. This is My Body is a Book of Rules by Alyssa Washuda. This was recommended to me by Mallory White Duck, who is doing her dissertation on memoirs by Native Indigenous women. And so this is a memoir um, about really uh, Alyssa Washuda's life. And so if you are also looking to read more Native and Indigenous literature, um, definitely recommend going and getting this. There is no audio, so it will take a while before I'm able to read it in print, but I'm very excited. And yes, I'm. that's been on my TBR, like to buy list kind of situation for so long. I'm so happy to have it. So I also want to support indie publishers as well. So there was a sale at, at Belt Publishing on their website. So I went and I bought four books. Uh, it was a great, amazing sale. And so this is Radical Suburbs. Experimental Living on the Fringes of the American City by Amanda Colson Hurley. And this focuses on the Midwest, like all of Belt Publishing's books do for the most part. Uh, you have Rust Belt Arcana, Tarot and Natural History in the Ex-Urban Wilds by Matt Stransbury and David Wilson. You have Red State Blues, Stories from Midwestern Life on the left, edited by Martha Bain. And then you have uh, Folk Tales and Legends of the Middle West by Edward McLean. So I'm not sure if the sale is still going on, but I will link their website if you want to go check out their books. Um, but yeah, I've really been wanting to read more books about the Midwest because I'm very tired of people using the phrase flyover country. And uh, yeah, so that's definitely been on my list for a while. I also have some book outlet books and they're randomly stacked in this file. So uh, one of them is Brute, Poems by Emily Sakja, I think. Um, but this is out from Grey Wolf and I found this on Book Outlet and it was one of the last ones there. But I really love Grey Wolf's poetry like series that they do. It's not really a series, 
just the public just the poetry books that Grey Wolf publishes there we go this has been on my list for a while and I even checked it out at the library once but I just didn't have the time and so now I'm glad I bought it in print because the library is closed yay for digital online libraries so two of these I bought on a uh, book outlet and two I ordered from like used book sites like thrift, thrift books thrift books or a books I don't remember which one so I got Im Isabel and uh, Imogen Greenberg's like mythology series or something like that mythology and ancient civilization series I guess so you have Aztec Greek Egyptian and Roman and they all have the classic style uh, that I adore and so I, I love these and they're like little info stuff and they're appropriate for children I don't know about you but my mom was always very conscious that the ancient Egyptian women sometimes went topless so she would like draw clothes on them well these have clothes in various forms so would recommend if you would rather your children not see naked women it's understandable uh, so anyway I love those I also got um, a book from Salam Reads which is one of my favorite uh, YA and uh, middle grade imprints this is about a radical movement in Kuala Lumpur and there's violence and I think there's like a political protesting and different things I'm not sure because I haven't read the book yet but um, I went online and just realized there is an, an audiobook of this uh, but I went ahead and got this because I love Salam Reads and I trust their books uh, I love them and uh, but they are a Muslim uh, middle grade and young adult imprint and it's doing a great job uh, at my local indie bookstore M Judson um, I bought mystery and manners occasional prose by Flannery O'Connor I've been looking for this cover of mystery and manners for ages like I couldn't find it for whatever reason um, I had the older cover and I want these this set of covers um, because they're beautiful so I have read this and I love it I love Flannery O'Connor She's just great. Um, so I went to the dollar store of all places and I found a, a few books, which is great. Uh, so you have More Than Conquerors, uh, a memoir of Lost Arguments by Megan Hastad. And she is the daughter of missionaries and is writing about her experience. And I've heard different people talk about this who are either uh, people who are formally attached to the Christian community or currently attached to the Christian community. And so I'm very interested to see what this book has to say uh, because of all the discussion that it has spawned. Um, but yeah, a book that came out a few years ago that a friend of mine read and loved is Spaceman of Bohemia by Jaroslav Kalfar. And uh, so she recommended this one. So I, it was a dollar. So of course I picked it up. And I've seen the documentary of this uh, several times, and this is How to Survive a Plague, the inside story of how citizens and science tamed AIDS by David France. And uh, I read that this has a lot more content and different content than the documentary does. So I'm very much interested in this to see a more expanded version uh, of what went on um, in that, especially after seeing the documentary so many times. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's going to be a lot, but I found this at the dollar store and I thought it was a sign because I have been looking for this book and it was there and it was a dollar. It's just a miracle. So another book I found at my local indie Ed Judson is Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. I saw a Lupita, a Lupita Reads uh, over on Instagram. I recommend this book so many times. So it was reissued by a different publisher. So it has this cover, different colors, I think, than the other cover, but Point being, I saw it in a bookstore and I bought it. Another indigenous book that I bought this time was a recommendation from Thunderbird Woman Reads, who I will link down below, um, is Split Tooth. Amazing, amazing red edges. I picked this up when I actually met Joss of Scribbles Reads at an, at an indie bookstore in Raleigh. So she was on the East Coast Visiting Family and behold, we went there and I found this book, which is, I don't, I didn't realize it was printed in the United States in this edition. I, I was confused, but it's fine. I bought it and it's wonderful. So here we are. So I've already told you about the Isabel and Imogen series that I picked up. That is Isabel Greenberg, the author of The 100 Nights of Hero. Uh, Imogen is her sister. And so they wrote those together. 
uh, and then this is just by Isabel Greenberg and I've read this before and loved it and so this is it was on book outlet for ages and finally I was like you know what I'm just gonna put it in my cart finally because here we are so I will uh, put my book outlet um, code down below um, you get a certain amount off and then I just get like member points or something for it so if you want to go check that out you can so the last two I ordered from the UK and that is the Ravenclaw edition of um, the Prisoner of Azkaban and the Goblet of Fire. Uh, the Order of the Phoenix comes out this summer. So I have been collecting these and this is actually what I've been reading right now because I'm just like everything, right? I think that face explains it all. So I've been listening to audiobooks of these and I've been collecting these. So those are the books that I have purchased in the last while. Um, definitely let me know if you have any that you've read or think I should pick up first. Uh, I see lots of Harry Potter and Rick Riordan Presents titles in my future, but eventually I will be back to reading uh, more substantive content. Um, but until then, all right, well, I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.